Welcome to the Unity F Mode video tutorials. At this video, I'll continue working on parameters and show you some usage, including continuous parameter and implementing danger state gimmick. I created clock ticking sound at my other video tutorial series. I'll use that in here too. Include that file into assets, create a new 2D timeline in events, and make it looping. It is 2D event because we don't use any 3D specifications and we will hear that without depending on listener's position. Let's create parameter sheet now. Right click to new tab next to the timeline, add parameter sheet and create a new one. Choose user continues and actually we can leave it like that, between 0 and 1. With continues we can use floating values between 0 and 1. Inside that parameter sheet, right click to a parameter you want to change by this sheet, which is volume of clock ticking sound. Right click its volume knob and add automation. It will bring a doll like panel under a track and we can automate levels by choosing points and creating a curve. It sounds okay, now we can assign that event and build the project. Let's go to the Unity side and check if that event exists. Since we use that as 2D sound, we can execute it inside audio manager that controls background music. Duplicate variables and executions we made for playing background music and rename these for clock ticking. Now we can work on parameter we created. Whenever the timer becomes less than 5 seconds, we change the state of clock sound. Based on the curve we designed at F mode, at value 1 it will be full sound and at 0 it will be silent. Code part is one liner. Just set parameter by name and use parameter name and value. Okay, technically it works, but practically it sounds harsh and instant. Let's fix that. Open FMOD project, choose the parameter tab, there is a one knob named Seek Speed. It basically adds some delay between value chains. Turn it up a bit and build the project again. Since it is continuous by the name, let's make this implementation more robust. Our timer counts between 20 and 0, so the curve can be adapted to that real life problem. Open the FMOD track, right click the parameter and edit. Change 0 to 1 values to 0 to 20. Redesign the curve with thinking the value as time. Between 0 and 5, it will be at maximum level and rest should be silent. Change the code inside audio manager. Use timer value as parameter value and execute it without if branch.
All right, that's it for today. We implemented a danger zone gimmick with various ways. You can go with the one you like the most. If you have any other questions or recommendations, feel free to ask or comment. Thanks for joining me. Till the next time, have a good day.